right, so there was I heard some ad for a news show, like a Boston news show this morning. That it was it was it was like um, parts of broadcast that they had like put together to be an ad for the news station. Um, and we, we said a slipper commute. I guess the way it was like a, that was like a part of like a a traffic broadcast. Um, and I have to say, you know what? Why why do you do this? You know, people have I have had no contact with, no association with, have never done anything to them. You know, why do you take that side of this situation? I just I I could I could not say more times, you know, how unhappy I am about the fact that this has happened to me. You know, and there are probably a lot of people in the public who have only kind of heard, you know, they, they've oh, they've only heard the version of the story the conglomerate wants them to believe, you know, which prob probably probably is probably is, you know, the idea have gotten it totally backwards uh, in the sense that like, okay, well, she did, she did all these videos, she agreed to be in them, and now people treat her like she's a dirty slut. When in fact, it wasn't like, it's not like that at all. You know, I mean, what, what happened was I was being treated like a dirty slut before the videos were filmed with me. I had no control over them. I did not consent to them. It's the last thing in the world I ever would have done. And the reason that I was being called a dirty slut in the first place, pretty much, is because I said no to Leonardo DiCaprio, who wanted to date me. And I also acted like I had the right to interact with other people besides him online. And so he decided to destroy my life. And that's what happened, right? And other people supported him, and the, the entire gang of people that grew around that entire situation, because, you know, politi political people supported them, um, because they could get something out of it. They thought they would get something out of it in terms of having um, money and name recognition and that sort of thing. And it was it just it just couldn't have been more disgusting or corrupt or awful or false, you know, just totally untrue and wrong and really unfair to me. So I have to say, you know, and why do you, why do you think that what has happened to me does not affect other people's rights? It certainly does. It affects your rights. It affects the rights of all kinds of people. You know, you know, I'm not the only person who got videotaped in all those places. You get that, right? I mean, it's, it's everyone, everyone who used a shower in the places where I used a shower, which is many people. Anyone who used a toilet in the places where I used a toilet, which is many people. You know, homeless people, people in psychiatric units. Now, obviously, you know, women, women and teenagers and children in the locker room at the YMCA in Chinatown. And yet, and yet, you're still acting as if somehow I did something to bring this on myself. And I certainly did it. And if, and if, if what you're trying to say is, you know, even after all this time, that I'm somehow trying to like get a rich person to take care of me. You just have no idea how many rich people have offered to do that that I have turned down over and over, pretty much every day for however, for however long it's been. So why don't you just shut it? You know, I didn't do anything to you. You know, and if, if you, if you, you know, I mean, it's what, what, do, what are you getting involved in hurting somebody, you know, for who's never done anything to you? You know, I've never done anything to you. Why don't you leave me alone?